Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Varieties channel. In today's episode, you will learn how to make the easiest okra soup recipe for your family and friends. This video is an updated one. At the same time, this recipe tastes incredibly so so delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload any video. Kindly share my video with your friends, loved ones or anybody you want to share it with thank you on my web surface i have my ingredients already prepped and then ready these are small size potashi peppers i have about um, nine to ten pieces here at the same time i have a set of garlic here garlic cloves and over here i've got some scotch bonnet peppers all these things you're seeing here is scotch bonnet about um, 9 to 10 pieces of scotch bonnet peppers that is because um, I want this okra soup to be super super spicy yes so this one here I'll be transferring to my food processor so I'll set it aside here over here you can see I have some proteins this is um, beef and the type of beef I'm using is the biscuit bone oh my god this is what I found yesterday the biscuit bone type of beef with the tozo okay so right here i have some horse mackerel fish you can use any mackerel of your choice you can even include tilapia if you prefer so these are my choice of um, proteins all right let me bring you to the pot and show you what is going Inside on the there. pot you will notice i have shake and also pomo yes the pomo is very very hard the one i found yesterday is super super hard the tough one all i did off camera was to wash the pomo neatly and then place it inside here to cook so far i have cooked this for like 15 good minutes or 15 to 20 minutes i added here was some water at the same time with salt that's all water and salt to cook this for 15 minutes to 20 minutes and as you can see the water has cooked super down We are going over to the blending process as you can see i have placed my food processor now we are going to mix all the ingredients and i introduced them earlier on Okay guys, so the mixing process is done. What I'm going to do now is to introduce the beef inside the pot. At the same time, I'll add the fish. So to this pot now, I'll break a pair of them, not cute. Next, I'll introduce some salt. Remember I told you earlier on that the shaki I cooked, I added salt. So you don't want to add too much salt. So be careful. Okay, so next I was cooking some little quantity of the things that we just blended right now. Just little quantity of that. Added about um, three tablespoons. That's okay. I'll then go ahead and gradually stir this pot. Okay, so that is perfectly coated. Now, if you look into that pot, you will notice there's no drop of water inside it. That's exactly what I want. Add the pot and cook for 10 good minutes and then introduce water into it. I'm just going ahead to scoop out the minced ingredients because I'll still use the same food processor to crush my okra. For this recipe, I will use 100 grams of um, catfish and fillets. You can see it here. I'll be using it for the soup. I'll show you when it's time to use that. And here I have some dried um, fish fillets and that species of um, dried fish. This fish here is super super flavorful. So please use any dry fish of your choice. You can also use anything you want to use. Not specifically what I'm having here. Okay guys, so this is my dry blender for blending only dry ingredients. I'll just add the dry fish here. see how it is looking like crayfish <laughs> so this is my background flavor 10 minutes later oh my god the aroma is so so nice at this stage now i'll pour in a reasonable quantity of water to complete the cooking process as you can see i added the water inside my food processor just to rinse out the peppers okay 
Mm, it smells so good. That step is done. I'll cover the pot and cook on the highest heat now for medium to highest heat for exactly 10 extra minutes and then we'll start the soup preparation. Oh my god, can you see that? <laughs> it's exactly 10 good minutes. Now, I will set it out because I don't like to eat um, soft meat. I don't like my meat to be too, too soft. And the special I'm using is not too strong. At the same time, I want to maintain the stock for the soup. So everything is ready now. I will set the meat out. Okay, so here is my okra. I'm just going ahead to remove the heads. Then I'll cut them into large chunks because I'll be using my food processor to crush this. My oil already pre It's the minced ingredient that uh, we made earlier on in here and fry it. Okay, so we are going to stir this. See what we are having right in there. So we are going to allow that to fry for 15 good minutes or 10 to 15 minutes. When we come back, the appearance must have changed. to 15 minutes later friends the perfect um, appearance i have been looking for oil has come at the surface this is a clear indication that the sauce is ready so make sure you're cooking on medium to low heat and stir continuously i'm going to add my own crayfish <laughs> i told you earlier on when i was missing the dry fish that this is going to form the base this is a step where you have to add it we're going to toast this thing here for some few minutes so mix and combine because you want the fragrance to begin to show now increase my heat from the very lowest down to the medium at the same time i'll be adding the catfish fillets I'll just cover it up and cook for two to three minutes. All right, so three to five minutes later, it has simmered down perfectly. Oh my God, guys, the aroma that is zooming in this kitchen, oh, it's unspeakable. It's so, so nice. The aroma is super good. So got some mushrooms, which I have taken my time to rinse and squeeze out the liquid. I'll pour it right here. Then I'll coat the mushroom with the sauce. Mm -hmm. The marriage is happening. At this point in time, you know that there's a perfect union that is going on here. And this is how I want it to be. Scooping in the cooked beef and the stock inside here. In fact, I'll pour in everything. Mixing everything, just mix it in. My pot is full of um, mtanta. We are making a healthy okra soup, the one that is so so healthy for your immune system. So you will need all this mtanta here. <laughs> You're going to taste for seasoning, mm, guys. Oh my God! Cover up the pot and allow it to boil on the highest heat. What I'm going to do there is to develop the sliminess of the okra. Why this one here is boiling? Over here, I have some little quantity of water. See, I have the two pots going at the same time. And this one here is still cooking; it's not yet boiling. So I want this one to boil with um, intense heat. All right. So here I placed my okra. The okra I left earlier. This is the spinach we prepared before. What I'm going to do now is to crush it. my hands to dice i use my hands to chop this particular one i'll pour it inside this place 
all right at the same time i'm going to add the one that we just missed now in the food processor i'll just add them then i want the okra to be tasty and not bland i'll add some little quantity of salt add a little quantity of water not so much don't use cold water if you prefer but i want uh, the hot water to act fast because my soup is almost ready okay yes yeah, so you want it to be fast Very careful when adding salt to your okra. Remember, your soup is also containing salt. Do this for three minutes just because I want my okra to be super, super crunchy. I don't want it to lose its crunchiness. Some Nigerians like to fry their okra to make the okra slimy. I'm not a fan of uh, frying okra. So I prefer this step and approach. So now the okra is still slimy. I think I'm comfortable with how it is so that my children can eat it otherwise it will be too too slimy. Alright, so as you can see the soup pot is now ready to receive the okra. We're now going to combine everything together. Chopped peppers, I'll pour it inside the okra. Don't be confused, what you're seeing in the pot there is um, bell peppers. Let me show you just for the appearance to change. Now, in comes the okra. Right now, my soup is simmering on the lowest heat. Now, I'm going to combine the okra. Remember that the okra is already cooked, so everything here is ready. This soup is super super ready so this is our updated okra soup it's slimy just the way i want it to be some of you will say this woman has filled her pots i can hear your voices speaking right now in your mind saying jesus this woman her pot is full <laughs> I'll start adding the spinach step by step and trust me everything will enter here because the spinach will just wilt. Finally, I'll add some onions for crunch. And now I'm going ahead to serve. You have to eat it now that everything is piping hot at the same time when the spinach has not uh, wilted you want to enjoy it now fresh this is the healthiest way you to eat the okra so much for joining me okay. today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have subscribe share until i come your way next time bye